Hi Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Water Signs, welcome to African Daisy Tarot. My name is Amina and I have your weekly timeless uh, love reading. We'll check your current energy, what to look out for this week and what is the advice, okay? Okay. So you have the Four of Wands, the Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Sorry, the Eight of Cups. What am I saying? The Ace of Cups. Okay, so um, with the Four of Wands, it's about, it's a social energy, you know, it's, um, there's some kind of event, maybe celebration, some kind of gathering around you, whether it's an actual party or just the feeling of being surrounded by people, a happy home, family, it's that kind of a vibe where you are in the spotlight, so, or at least you're kind of involved in something special or social. Um, yeah, maybe you're reconnecting with other people, maybe being more public about what's going on in your life. Um, this could be a time where maybe you're really out there, you know, connecting with others, celebrating something big. It's, it's a very positive, upbeat energy, you know, good times with good people. Okay. Um, with a five of pentacles here, this kind of brings a different layer to, to things. So while you're out there in the world and part of this party and enjoying yourself, it just might feel like you, you might be feeling Hmm. You might be feeling left out though, but it could be something to do with your finances or it could just be that maybe not feeling deserving of something. It's that nagging self-doubt kind of creeping in, you know, uh, I don't deserve this. So I don't deserve this people. Or I don't deserve this person. You know, um, it's almost like you're celebrating on the outside, but on the inside, you're kind of questioning your worth, you know, especially when it comes to love or money. I, I feel like since we're talking about love here, this is, this is about love. Um, you know, there's this kind of underlying feeling of inadequacy, you know, so maybe even fear of rejection or abandonment, you know, that's something holding you back from fully kind of enjoying the present moment. Um, with the Eight of Cups here, it's about, you know, an internal decision to kind of walk away from something. So you're kind of in the space where you know you need to let go of something or somebody or someone to kind of find yourself it's a hard decision here because emotionally you might still be attached, but this is part of you that's, that knows it's time to kind of move on. You know, you're searching for more, something deeper. Um, even though this is, it just doesn't feel like, uh, it, it seems like this connection is making you feel a certain something. Um, it feels like you can't stay in this situation any longer without losing yourself. You know, if that makes any sense. There's some kind of deeper emotional journey you need to take here, you know, and, and this is, yeah. It's like you don't fit in somewhere and, and you're kind of trying to, I'm sorry, you're kind of trying to understand where you are in this world or your part, the part you play, or I don't know, it's just, it kind of gives me the, it, it kind of, this is very much self-sabotage is what I'm feeling. Anyway, so, um, what to look out for? Page of Cups, Five of Cups, Knight of Cups. Okay, so this someone around you maybe somebody new maybe it could be like a secret admirer or somebody who's got a crush on you you know it's kind of that sweet butterflies in your stomach kind of feeling so there's somebody here who's attracted to you they could be much younger than you or there's something about very playful about them uh if maybe somebody's yeah someone's attracted to you i don't know if they've fully come forward yet or there's this kind of sense of curiosity like someone's trying to figure out how to make their move but it's still that early kind of uncertain phase you might be picking up on it or maybe you've got a little or maybe it's you that's got to crush yourself you know either way there's this new energy brewing here okay it doesn't have to be a, another person it could just be the same person i don't know um, with the five of cups, there's a fear here. Okay. There's a deep sense of loss, regret. Maybe somebody's feeling like they've lost you forever. I feel like my reading, this reading is all over the place. I hope it's making sense to someone. 
some someone out here is like feeling like they've lost you forever or maybe it's it's something that's weighing very heavily on them right this could be you too but i feel like this is someone else you know it's that uh sinking feeling of you know what what if this is it you know what if i've messed up too badly to fix things you know whether it's you or someone else i feel like this is about the fear of losing someone is um the fear of losing someone is real and it's kind of causing a lot of emotional turmoil there's a lot of regret here too so it's kind of hard to shake that feeling uh that something important has kind of slipped away here maybe it's this person i don't know uh with the knight of cups here it's uh there's some kind of hope maybe coming back in um <clears throat> This is about like romantic gestures, about love offers, proposals. You know, it's like somebody wanting to make things right, maybe trying to come forward with some kind of offer that could change everything. This is that kind of wish come true energy, you know, when someone's stepping up to make their feelings known. So it's, it could be possible that maybe, maybe this is you wanting to walk away because you feel inadequate. Okay, I'm getting a scenario. Um, maybe it's you walking away because you kind of feel inadequate in some sort of way maybe self-sabotage and then this person that you don't feel like you deserve is kind of giving you that gesture maybe they are finally coming forward or something like that you know or which is making you um kind of change everything right it's i don't know this is just what i'm thinking So, yeah, so if there's any distance here or maybe tension, you know, I feel like this is about um, bringing in a chance of healing, you know, or a fresh start. It's that moment of vulnerability, you know, somebody says, when somebody kind of says, okay, here I am, or let's try this, or just, it's it's like reassurance. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so I'm not going <clears> to... <throat> What is that advice? Ace of Cups. Ace of Swords reversed. Two of Swords. Okay. So the Ace of Cups is about new beginnings, it's about fresh love, it's about moving on. You know, it's that honeymoon phase of a new relationship or maybe even a new chapter in the current relationship. The, the energy here is about starting fresh, possibly with that, if, if you are dealing with that self-sabotage issue there, for others of you, that's not for everyone. Um, yeah, I, I, just allowing yourself to kind of feel those childlike, you know, Im innocent emotions that come with new beginning, okay? So it's for others of you, whether you're moving on from a past hurt or you're starting something new with someone, whatever it is, it's about embracing the possibilities of love without fear. The Ace of Swords reverse here kind of there's a little bit of confusion here because there's something that you're not seeing clearly. Maybe something still feels like a mystery or kind of, you know, like an enigma. Um, you know, the reverse Ace of Swords brings that sense of the unknown. So things might feel unclear or like you don't have all the information that you need to make some kind of a decision. So there's kind of fog in the situation and you're struggling to get that mental clarity to move forward. With the two of swords here, again, it shows that you're stuck in indecision. So you're at some kind of crossroad, maybe unable to choose some kind of path. Everything feels confusing. It's unclear. A decision needs to be made, but you're hesitant. Maybe you're afraid of making the wrong choice. You know, sometimes sitting in indecision is worse than making the choice itself. You know, I feel like I should say that. It's about taking off... It's, it's about taking off that blindfold and just trusting that once you've made a decision, things will start to move either way, right? doesn't matter where, but there will be movement because when you're stuck, no decision is a decision. Yeah, so that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in.